Hi guys, you are watching For You Tech, and today we are going to flash and review Lineage OS 15.1 official version released by Lineage OS. This is the stable build released on 25th June, and it's working perfectly. You have to download all the files from the link given into the description, and then put them on your OnePlus One device, and then let's get started. Firstly, you have to reboot your phone into the TWRP. You must need latest 3.2 version for flashing this file. Firstly, wipe everything, then click on install button and then select all your files line OJOS 15.1 and open JS ARM 8.1. Slide the bottom slider and wait for a minute. Then, after completing the flashing, you have to click on reboot button. Wait for a minute, you will get the, your boot animation for line OJOS. 15.1 After the booting you have to go through the initial setup for this ROM Complete that setup and you are good to go into the ROM This is the launcher available for this lineage OS 15.1 This is the application drawer and this is the quick setting panel when you goes into the application drawer you get the audio effects for controlling the music quality of your music applications so this this is the audio effects when you goes into the settings it, you get the finish setting for pixel device here you have to set up your oneplus one device here the build is pretty stable and everything is working Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC everything is working flawlessly see this uh, all the things are there when you goes into the system about phone you will see there is 8.1.0 version with the latest security patches Android security patch for this build is for 5th June 2018. The all the customizations options are available into the system setting. When you go back, you will get the all the customization option. First one is buttons. When you click on buttons, you will get enable navbar option. When you enable the navbar, the uh, hardware is get automatically disabled in the buttons when you disable the navbar you will get the backlight option backlight option for hardware buttons is also working here you also get the navbar option here you can change the different aspects of your navigation bar you can change the layout you can invert the button layout you can add the clipboard keynote can able to add some extra keys into the soft key navigation panel so this build is pretty customizable this is not a fully customizable build but one of the good customizations facilities are available in this build we also get the power menu customization where you can add screenshot aeroplane mode lockdown mode different uh, options can be addable into the power menu then we get the status bar customizations where you can add the quick pull down options we also get the network traffic monitor system icons can be enabled disabled we get also the brightness slider auto brightness we also get the stock one plus one off screen gestures where you can add the different gestures for off screen opening of different apps you can set the different uh, gestures for different apps we also get the double press the home button to enable the camera option say so this when you double press the power button the camera will get activated then we get the lineage or a specific feature that is called as trust in the security option here we will get the all security information is available which is which includes the say Linux whether it is enforcing or permissive mode if you have root access 
it will show you it's uh, your device is rooted if not it will show you it is disabled you also get the encryption information about your device also get the privacy guard in this setting we also get the security alerts for whenever any threat for your devices get detected when you goes into the display there you get the theming style option you can change the your device theme into the dark mode or into the light mode you can also able to set the certain colors which is on the go you can change select any certain color tomato cherry anything can also able to set you also get the expanded desktop mode we get the ambient display for the new notification the next thing is the camera camera is also working here see this uh, the focus is good you get the different options for your camera you get the quality picture quality can able to set to the high you get the face detection mode you get the iso setting exposure setting white balance touch focus detection you can able to set your camera power button as a camera shutter some of the examples of camera samples are given here the camera quality is good okay but not great our camera is 4 year old and we cannot accept much more than this quality so that's it guys like this video subscribe this channel and i will give you lots of videos like this so okay bye take care